What is up YouTube? Andy Lloyd from Sky Athletics coming to you today for episode 100 of my vlog. Let's get things going. Again, what is up YouTube, 5 foot 8 dunker, vertical trainer, Andy Lloyd here from Sky Athletics, coming to you today for episode 100 of the Sky Vlog. I appreciate everybody who's watching me so far. If this is your first time, welcome. Head over to my website down below, www.skyathletics.com. Get two free months worth of free vertical training, 100% free. Uh, go check out my Instagram, Sky Athletics, that's S-K-I-G-H. Um, and again, you can DM me questions on there, or you can comment a question down below in the comment section, and I will answer your questions. So, um, a lot of my DMs are filled with pretty pretty good questions. A lot of them are fairly vague. Uh, this is a great question to answer. Um, you know, since I'm not doing like a how-to or a tutorial video, I want to get into. I'm just gonna dive into you know my type of training. Again, I have an elite training program on my on my website down below. Um, that have been used by professional athletes, Division One athletes. I've trained people personally who've gotten their very first dunk, um, whether that's from starting to you know just nip the rim or being underneath the rim. Um, go check out my transformation video. It's down in the description. Um, we're we're getting close to 750,000 views, so I appreciate everybody for watching that. But I'm just gonna dive into so some of the most important things about training. What I find to be the most important thing about jumping off two feet and just just training in general. So this varies from one foot to two foot just a little bit because one foot you're looking for more elasticity in the muscles. You don't really have to get as strength oriented. Um, but as a five foot eight athlete, as a five foot eight human being, I'm a little bit stockier. I grew up overweight, chubby. Um, so I wanted to use that as my advantage. So I put on strength. And my thing was, you know, if I could just dip body fat so if I just cut body fat so you know right now I'm trying to cut body fat so you can see some muscle tone um, if I could get a very low body fat if I can get strong get more flexible or at least maintain flexibility but definitely you know I definitely gain crazy amounts of flexibility so if I did all that lose body fat get stronger get more flexible then there's no way that I can't go faster so what I was doing I was basically before I would I would say that I was I was a van and I had a very basic engine. Now I don't know much about cars at all, so I'll make myself look like an idiot if I get into details. Um, but what I did is pretty much change my body from a van into a Ferrari. Now what I did was instead of keeping the same engine for the van, which would have been a you know we're talking let's say it's like a two thousand two thousand one van you know that's the model it was and i'm talking like a 2016 2017 ferrari what i did was i upgraded everything so my body body fat was cut my strength was crazy so now we're talking about horsepower which is what i'm very very interested in as an athlete and as a dunker if i can drop body fat and get strength all i'm doing is i'm adding pound for pound strength that horsepower that you need to generate movements easier more efficiently um, and flexibility still plays a huge role because you still want your muscles to be flexible. You don't want to be walking around the gym all stiff. You want to be loose. You want to be flexible. Um, someone I like to compare this to who's in a perfect situation to be compared to, not, not, not comparing myself or my dunks, um, but Russell Westbrook. If you look at someone like Russell Westbrook, he's extremely, extremely cut and defined, low, very low body fat, and he's still very, very explosive. I just spit there. Very, very explosive. His muscles are very, you know, he jumps well off one and off two foot, but he's strong. You can see he works out, whether that's with bands, resistance bands, weights, anything like that. So, um, you know, if there, were, if there were any tips that I had to give to someone who is using my free program, if there's someone out there who is um, just trying to do their own thing, and if they're younger and they can't get into weights, you need what you need to do is you need to you need to make some sort of a plan and you can base it off of my free program again it's 100 percent free you don't have to go exactly and do what that says so let's say you're 12 years old and you get my program there's no reason that wherever it says to do weights to lift weights whether it's bench press anything like that replace all of that and do push-ups do uh do planks for your abs 
I have ab workouts there, I have ab workouts on this channel. You can do pull-ups, you can do dips for, for your triceps. So many things you can do body weight wise and then for the legs I have strategic plyometrics that are again on this YouTube channel. It'll show you how to do those. It'll give you a rep and set count so you know exactly how many to do, you know what days to do them. And then you can start splitting things up and start to see what it feels like to train like an athlete, to try to build up everything. So again, we can't just train upper body because we want to jump higher, but we also just can't train our lower body because you don't want to be disproportioned, you want to be explosive as an athlete, you know, you probably want to finish strong at the rim. So there's no reason why you can't work on your upper body. And why I like to work on my upper body is because it takes tension off of my lower body temporarily, so it makes me feel at, like I'm recovering faster because I get to train something else. And then we train the core because we want to connect. The core is basically the bridge to our upper body and our lower body. It's actually the physical bridge, but it's just mentally and just logically think it connects the strengths together. So a lot of the times when we're jumping and we're building strength, we're going to get in our legs, we're going to get way stronger in our upper body because we're developing such a strong and healthy foundation. So uh, pretty much a little bit of a ramble as far as a vlog, but guys, if you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. I appreciate the views just in general. Go check out my other videos in my channel. Um, you know, if you have specific questions for me, hit me up and I can link you to one of the videos, but definitely browse through the channel first because I got tons of free content for you guys to go through on how to jump higher, uh, technique, lifting, all that stuff. Um, but then, if you look through it and there's not something that I answered, if I don't have a tutorial on something, I will be gladly to schedule that in and make a vlog about it. So, um, again, guys, I appreciate the likes, comments, subscriptions. Keep grinding, keep working. Head over to my website, head over to my Instagram. I don't know if they're both on that side, but just they're both the same skyathletics.com and skyathletics on Instagram, S K I G H. Again, guys, get to work. Go work hard, and let's get those dunks. Let me see some of your dunks. Go post it on my Instagram. Go DM me anything, and I'll feature you on my, feature you on my page, all right? Get to work. God bless. He's standing.